Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. And welcome to the Philippine Maritime Industry Summit 2023. To begin our program, may we invite the Department of Transportation Undersecretary for Maritime, Mr. Elmer Francisco Sarmiento, to give his welcome message. To His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., the Speaker of the House, Honorable Martin Romualdez, Transportation Secretary Jaime J. Bautista, our Labor Secretary. Benny Laguesma, our Marina Administrator, Attorney Hernani Fabia, our distinguished members of the Diplomatic Corps, lawmakers, fellow public servants, highly esteemed partners and stakeholders of the maritime industry. Isang mapagpalang hapon sa lahat. With great pride and honor, I welcome you all to the Philippine Maritime Industry Summit 2023. Today, we are celebrating such an important milestone for our country as we officially launch the updated 10-year Maritime Industry Development Plan 2028. The MIDP, which will serve as our roadmap of our industry, captures our national plans and strategies to achieve a nationally integrated and globally competitive Philippine maritime industry by 2028. With a vision in mind of achieving a strong and reliable Philippine merchant fleet that addresses the sea transport requirements of the archipelago in support of the national development agenda, the updated MIDP is a holistic approach that encourages synergy among industry key players, both from the private and government sectors. This is a result of years of interagency collaborations and workshops, series of consultations and participatory government industry fora, spearheaded by the Maritime Industry Authority to ensure that the MIDP will be resilient and responsive to the changing local and international sea transport requirements. Major components of the MIDP were revisited and revamped to ensure that it is aligned with the national transport policy, the eight-point socio-economic agenda of the Marcos administration, the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028, the achievement of the Matatag, Paginhawa, at panatag na buhay for the Filipino people under the Ambition Natin 2040. Truly 
we consider this as a major move of the Philippine maritime industry towards the sustainable economic progress that we envision for our country. As we all know, a thriving maritime industry translates to a more conducive economic environment and smooth influx of investments and facilitation of trade within the country. We are blessed with a very promising maritime industry and we have this huge responsibility to sustain it and ensure that we are navigating towards a prosperous direction. The updated MIDP is instrumental to make this happen and to follow the marching order of our president full speed ahead. Let the support and commitment from no less than our president himself inspire us to deliver tangible and sustainable outcomes in line with the updated MIDP. To everyone here, I am sure that in one way or another, we have all contributed to making this day possible. Thank you for being a huge part of the process and the MIDP journey and now in this milestone. I enjoy everyone to sustain our efforts and commitment for this noble initiative for the benefit of our stakeholders and our country at large. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Philippine Maritime Industry Summit 2023. Maraming salamat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you, Yusek Sarmiento. Now, may we invite Attorney Hernani N. Fabia, the Administrator of the Maritime Industry Authority, to present the overview and highlights of the 10-year Maritime Industry Development Plan 2028. His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Honorable Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez, Speaker. Honorable Jaime J. Bautista, Secretary, Department of Transportation. Honorable Bienvenido Laguesma, Secretary, Department of Labor. Members of the Diplomatic Corps. Distinguished colleagues in the government service. Partners in the maritime industry, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my distinct pleasure to present to you the framework of the Maritime Industry Development Plan 2028 to realize the potentials of the country's maritime industry as a vital component for national economic growth and development. The MIDP illustrates its alignment to our long-term vision as a nation and as a people under the ambition natin 2040, the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028, and the National Transport Policy, among others. May I now invite your attention to the screen for our brief presentation. In 1974, a great, visionary leader, former President Ferdinand Marcus Sr., has envisioned to develop the Philippine maritime industry as a vital component of national economic and development. With its creation, pursuant to Presidential Decree No. 474, the Maritime Industry Authority was mandated to craft and implement a 10-year Maritime Industry Development Plan. The MIDP envisions a strong and reliable Philippine merchant fleet that addresses the sea transport requirements of the archipelago in support of the National Development Agenda. The MIDP also aims to ensure access of passengers and shippers to safe, secure, economical, environment-friendly, and sustainable sea transport. 
This is consistent with the principle of leaving no one behind, the very core of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the Philippines' ambition of isang matatag, maginhawa, at panatag na buhay para sa lahat in the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028. to The MIDB targets to develop and expand the Philippine merchant fleet as well as a future-ready maritime human capital. With three core outcomes, the MIDB aspires the increased access to a reliable, efficient, and integrated sea transport system for passengers and shippers, the increased capacity and production in shipbuilding and ship repair industry, and the increased employability, upskilled, reskilled, maritime workforce and new jobs created. To realize this, 10 MIDP programs were initially identified. These MIDP programs were realigned, restructured, and categorized into four core programs. Overriding programs. And one enabling program. programs are the focus sectors of the Philippine Merchant Fleet Development and Expansion. The overriding programs are vital instruments that cut across and are critical to achieving the desired outcomes of the core programs. Enabling program focuses on the whole of nation approach by empowering relevant government agencies and maritime industry stakeholders the impetus to push forward the core and overriding programs in order to achieve the overall targets of the MIDP 2028. By the full implementation of the MIDP in 2028, the Philippines shall have achieved link more islands of the archipelago, expanded Philippine merchant fleet, increased employment opportunities, improved and seamless transport of cargo and agricultural products. Now is the time for the government and the industry to work together to realize the vision of transforming the Philippines into a strong maritime nation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to the Maritime Industry Authority. At this juncture, we would like to invite the Department of Transportation Secretary, Mr. Jaime J. Bautista, to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr., Thank you very much, uh, Transport uh, Secretary Jimmy Bautista. Uh, I also like to acknowledge uh, the uh, House Speaker, Speaker of the House, uh, Martin Romualdez, the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Labor and Employment Secretary Benny Laguesma, the Marina Administrator, Attorney Nani Fabia, fellow workers in government, Partners in the private sector, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. 
I am honored to join our industry experts, various government institutions, and key stakeholders as we conduct this year's Philippine Maritime Industry Summit and present the Maritime Industry Development Plan, or MIDP, for 2020, till 2028. I recognize the Department of Transportation and the Maritime Industry Authority for spearheading this important and timely event and for taking a huge leap forward, making the country's maritime industry even more globally competitive through the MIDP 2028. Through this development plan, which was formulated by the Marina and the DOTR, in coordination with relevant government agencies and key stakeholders, we will achieve our two core objectives. First, to ensure the development and expansion of the Philippine merchant fleet. Second, to ensure the advancement of a future-ready maritime human capital. Specifically, this plan covers eight priority programs ranging from enhancing maritime transport safety and security, promoting environmental sustainability, implementing digitalization, modernizing, upgrading, and expanding domestic and overseas shipping industries, including the local shipbuilding and ship repair industry, promoting a highly skilled and competitive maritime workforce, adopting an effective and efficient maritime administration governance system. In addition to this, the MIDP will establish a system that aims to lessen the detrimental impacts of both natural and man-made eventualities as well as to prepare for the future and its contingencies that may affect the sector. It is my great pride to report to you that the Philippines is the world's primary source of maritime manpower, constituting 25% of the global seafarers and bringing in a total of $6.71 billion in remittances in 2022. That being said, I laud the commitment of our Filipino seafarers to bring honor and pride once again to our country. They do this by providing the quality service across the globe and contributing to our nation-building efforts. I extend my gratitude as well to the officials and members of our domestic and overseas shipping, shipbuilding, and ship repair sectors. As of the 31st of December 2022, there are nearly 16,000 registered domestic ships lying the nearly 1,300 inter-island shipping routes across the country. Similarly, there are almost 100 Philippine registered overseas ships that yielded 30.75 million pesos in tax collections in 2022. With regard to the local shipbuilding and ship repair sector, as of 2021, there are 116 marina registered shipyards across the country. Given that the Philippines is a maritime nation, I believe that it is time for us to make the maritime industry once again a top priority. While we already hold a dominant position in the world of global shipping, I certainly believe that we can do more, especially here at home. We already hold the most vital ingredient to success, which is our seafarers. All we need to do now is to ensure that we harness their knowledge, make use of their experience, and mobilize our local industries to build an even stronger domestic maritime industry for the benefit of our people. So I encourage all government institutions and key stakeholders to collaborate, to cooperate, to ensure the continued growth and development of this extremely important sector. I also urge all concerned agencies to pursue a whole of government approach to effectively implement the MIDP 2028 as well as to continue communicating with member states of the International Maritime Organization and the European Union Committee on Safe Seas. As a leader, I will assure you that this administration will give its unqualified support in your aspirations of building a Philippine maritime industry that will be looked upon 
with, the admira with admiration by the region and the rest of the world. Together, let us synergize all our efforts and harness the potential of this event and of the MIDP 2028. This to provide better opportunities for our fellow Filipinos to build a more progressive, sustainable, and resilient maritime sector. Thank you. Mabuhay tayong lahat at magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity in five batches. Batch 1, please proceed on the left side of the stage. Batch 1, may we invite the members of the diplomatic corps and government officials on stage. Batch 2, please stand by. Batch 2, please. Batch 2, please proceed here on the left part, left side of the stage. Thank you, Batch 1. Batch 2, please proceed on stage. Batch 2, may we invite the distinguished government officials. Batch 3, please stand by. Alright, Batch 3, may proceed on the left side of the stage. Would be the presidents of maritime industry associations and organizations. Please proceed on the stage left. Batch 2, Batch 3, Presidents of Maritime Industry Associations and Organizations. Alright, Batch 4, please. Please proceed on the left side of the stage from the Maritime Industry Authority, Management and Officials. Management and the Directors. Thank you, Batch 3. Now we proceed with the Batch 4. 
Marina Management, officials and the directors. Batch 5, the second portion of the Maritime Industry Authority will be composed of regional directors and the chairman and uh, vice chairman of the committee. Thank you, Batch 4. Last Batch, Batch 5, Marina Regional Directors. Again, Batch 5, the Maritime Industry Regional Directors, as well as the uh, Chairman and Vice Chairman of the Organizing Committee. Thank you very much, Batch 5. Now may we request the President and the rest of the stage party for a group photo opportunity. May we request the audience to please stand for the camera. You may actually, uh, you may actually, you may get closer to the stage. Para mas makita mo. Atras daw po, bababa po ang ating stage party. Atras po, atras po. Atras po. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr.